Hello to everyone, I'm Indurak, and today I'm playing more Mass Effect 2, so we are doing Jacob's mission. Uh, I don't know if there's anything to pay, to grab around here. Any goodies? I suppose not. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I could change my attire. Like. No. Okay, apparently I, uh, I have to re change it at my, uh, uh, wardrobe thing, I guess. Alright. So, let's get on with There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Yeah. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Look at this. Yay. Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 oh. hours. Okay. Huh. What the hell was going on on that ship? Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically... Oh. The look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. Oh, okay. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted huh. under emergency command protocols, other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, oh. local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Hmm. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact <clears> and <throat> sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Hmm. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Hmm. Activation was triggered <coughs> remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of acting captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. All right. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. After ten years, it must have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Things would probably get pretty bad after such a long time. Uh, oh. You oh. came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters, they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Huh? What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I, I don't remember. 
remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were, they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Yeah. Agents of the liar. He will not escape. They've seen us. So what the hell? Oh, obviously they've seen us. You always like to cross right in front of me, don't you? Come on. Ah. F you. F you. Oh, jeez. F me for being stupid and letting myself get close to death. Damn it, I can't do anything. Yeah, right, you bastard! Whoa! These people didn't have neural decay. They're crazy. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Yeah, your father's probably Billy really Dad. I'm pretty sure. All right. But I guess, but I suppose, maybe, I don't remember what your details of the, of your wanting to do this mission were. Whether it's to know if he's alive or not. Strip for parts. Uh, Tech's what? wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. What? Oh, that's a, that's one of those robot guys. Those robot enemies. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Who knows? They came from this direction. Since there's nowhere else for those guys to have come from. Uh, let me take a look over here, see if there's anything around here. Apparently not, okay. Hey guys. What's up? <coughs> hmm. These people seem calm. But they're part of the same group as the ones that attacked us. Oh. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. Uh -huh. That's possible. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. Call the sky. To eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Yeah. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Yeah. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Hmm. Yeah, things aren't good here. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. I, I can't move. What is Go with away. that? You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Well, you just did talk to me, so. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. Hmm. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. I won't. Excuse me? Oh, crap. Charge him up! I just wanted to look around for goodies. Can't see with that fox in the way. Careful. 
Alright, I can't fight here. Alright, what the hell? There we go. That worked. He's gunning down his own crew to keep control? That's horrible. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Damn it! I keep doing that. I'm so dumb. I hope. That's the word, right? Hope? Hunters will watch. If you help, they won't kill you. Maybe. He takes so much <laughs> and makes us wait. We've waited too long. Well, we better get to the bottom of this. Doctor? Please, here. You could end it. You what? have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, oh. I forget how to read. But this was the start. What forget how to read. And what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew log book. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. Hmm. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. <sighs> the rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on. It wasn't command material, and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Hmm. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Confront Taylor. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, move, 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 move. Go. Okay. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. Oh, you. God damn it! It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. It looks like the old bodies were posed like a warning. The newer bodies were just left wherever they fell. Where are you? Hunters started fighting back. Hmm. Incoming! Taking heavy fire! Get out of here, robots! Yeah, you had no choice. Uh, you're the one who's supposed to be in control of these bastards. I can get any ammo anywhere. Maybe see if I can interact with anything. 
I can't go over there. All right, excuse me. Charge him up. Uh huh. No. A few turd. What? What is that? <laughs> Excuse me. I thought I heard something over there. Excuse me. <laughs> I like how they say "excuse me." What the hell? Backup systems and routing power You sound like Captain Quark. Seriously, that guy sounds like Captain Quark. I wonder if that's the same voice actor. Uh, what's his name? Jim Ward, I think. Seriously, if this guy said the name Ratchet, I'd could I'd be able to tell. All right. Um. Now, what am I? Do I have? Am, do I have all the ammo that I could get? Or is there more? I could pick up somewhere. Huh. Hang on. Okay. Apparently, that there's nothing more to. Yet, and there's nothing to interact with, so let's go. Okay. Oh, no, there was some more. Come on, you bastards. Oh. What is up with the voices? AI hacking. Oh wait, uh, well, why did I bother with the AI hacking if we're just gonna end up destroying it anyway? Okay, well you're dead. Alright, screw you. I'm going over there. Oh, never mind. There's more of them. Law shields. What is with the audio being all weird? Okay. It took years to train my guards. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. Rescue you. This thing is not my father. Thank you. Thank you. Hostiles. I don't see any. Combat drone ready to kill. Oh, brainwashed guard. Oh shit, robot. Okay, uh Yeah, let's take care of that son of a bitch. Oh. Shit. Oh, well, actually, hang on. Maybe this will do. Ow! Whoa! Get out of here! Alright, I'll switch back to my other weapon. Yeah, I doubt he can do that. But I guess that's kind of the point. Of what you're saying. Is that he can't. Alright. 
But I guess that's all that I can get for ammo. There's nothing else to interact with anywhere. Okay, let's go take a look at those things then. Whoops. Yeah, I'm all good. All right. P oh, PDA. Uh, not yet. Oh. Credits. Useful credits. Oh, okay. I thought maybe there was something else here, but... That's him. You got some splainer to do. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. Right. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure no, you were just clear. Right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? Mm -hmm. And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. What Rank, is going on? Protocol, they couldn't understand. Oh, hunters? We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things <clears> escalated <throat> here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. 
He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm mm -hmm. ten years past believing that. Oh. Okay. What's up? Oh, okay. And what was the point of that? Of those guys being there? <laughs> like... Okay, so we completed that mission. That went well, I guess. <clears throat> change difficulty level at any time. I, uh, did not know that. Oh. Okay. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Well, I can see that. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Okay. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Mm-hmm. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. Requires a better man than I. Mm-hmm. Come on. I we suppose to do. that would be I'm me. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Yeah, we're best buds. Even though I don't really take you out with me on missions very often. But still, you know. Research unlocked. <coughs> Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry. It will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Let's do this later. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that complaint. Okay. Else yeah, yeah. Later. All right. We'll talk later. Commander. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, go see the dock. Oh, wait, whoop. Wrong way. I'm dumb. Ah, excuse me. Still need to get to Chuchanka, oh, right, yeah, I, I forgot. I'll talk to you later, I keep forgetting here if you need. that he has all that. Alright, let's do this. See what we can do. Assault rifle damage. I think... I think, uh, I think I'll go with that. Yeah, armor upgrades. Tech damage. that 
I just want to know if anything else uses... No? I can do this again? Oh, but that's 5,000. Oh, let's go with that. Duration. Let's have it last a little bit longer. I just want to make sure that there's, like, nothing else that... Oh. Oh. Looky, looky. More fuel. Awesome. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else that uses uh, the same stuff that I've been using for those things. Hmm. Okay. Wait a minute. So... Um, hang on, let's, let's, let's go with, Shepard takes 50, oh, okay, yeah, oh, melee attacks, well, shit, I bear, I don't often get close enough for that, <sighs> oh, no, whoops, wrong thing, ah, this would be it. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. Damn it. Okay, so I can get this. So let's just do that. I don't think there's anything else I could get. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're good then. Oh, jeez, look at all that. I didn't buy that many things. What's up? Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. All right, let's take a look-see. An important request. What the hell? From Mr. Ganak Ejal. Dear sir or madam, having consulted my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to, uh, to request your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at I... Is that an L? Ilos? Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked in quarantine. Even through... Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, Quarantine remains in effect until one can pay off, uh, pay for a permit to request a class reclassification from the some, ah, cultural ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, enabling us both to profit uh, to profits from this happy accident. Please reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. Best regards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This sounds this sounds like a scam. So <coughs> I would I wouldn't expect this game to have scam mail. Admiral blah blah. Oh! Vasmar. Oh, is this from those, um. From my. Is this from. Is this a Quarian? Okay. Uh. Shepard. Wait, is that the guy who's, uh. Who I like? Who, I've been digging through the LRI. I just want you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments R R Ryle Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just their home world, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Ryle Zora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Oh. 
ไว้Uh, is this bad or what? I don't know if this is a bad thing because like if you've I mean clearly what he tried to do has led to his own death so how may I help you commander is there anything I should know nothing right now anything else commander that'll be all It's always nice chatting with you. <sighs> ah. I don't think there's anything that really saves the Joker. Okay, I know. All right. Uh, so let's go uh, talk to other people. Um, hang on. All right. Hey, what's up, you guys? Nothing. Anything to say? Hello? Why does this have to take so long? Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? Oh, okay. It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires, but your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied <coughs> the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. Mm -hmm. I should go. Six opinions. I'm glad we spoke. <laughs> kind of like how whenever I talk to people, there's like 
well, a lot of the times, three choices for me to choose from. All right. Hello? Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? Oh, Not yeah, yet. okay. I shall return to my meditations. <sighs> All right, so, uh... I guess, uh, let's go... Hang on. Er, I don't remember if I can talk to Garrus. Because I don't... I don't remember if, like, there's a choice to talk to him about whatever. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Hmm. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. I'll go see if I can say anything to Garrus. <clears throat> Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead. Oh, Sedona. right. Okay. So there's like multiple that. missions to do <laughs> on uh, in the Citadel. Okay. So. Are you ever going to have anything to talk about? How may I help you? Never mind. Commander. All right, I'm going to just avoid you every time. I'm not going to bother anymore. Unless, of course, uh, what's her name tells me that you have something to say. Engineering. I have my doubts that... Uh, Tali will have anything new to say. But... Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot. <laughs> it's just uh -huh. that tradition also signifies a willingness for, um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. It's more, um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. <laughs> What could I possibly be suggesting? I don't know. I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? Uh, uh, but the Ara. Uh... Damn it, I wish I had saved earlier. It's too dangerous, I guess. I don't know. This mission will be risky enough. I can't jeopardize your health for that. No matter how much I'd like to. But you'd like to? Um good to know. Oh anyway, okay. I should get back to work. But thanks. Coming by and talking. Will I ever get Liara back on my team? Shepard, what can I do? Is that, is that all that there is to talk to about? Talk. I've got some work to do, but I haven't forgotten what we talked about. Later, maybe? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. 
Hmm. Instead of saying I'm not interested, I went for the undecisive option. Kelly, that's your name. All right. Uh, so let's see. Reaper IFF. Okay, well, let's let's go to the Citadel and do all those do those missions. I know, I'm... We can get more here. Give me fuel! Give me! Thank you. Whoops! Didn't mean to click it again. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go... Find, uh, let's go find the Citadel. Save crashing ship. Wait. Holy crap. Alright, uh... Let's go save a crashing ship. Let's do that. We. <clears throat> All right, let's go here. <gasps> Excuse me. Get signatures detected aboard. Uh, okay. Well, that sucks. Stupid Geth. They can f off. Let me fight. I must fight. I must destroy death and stuff. Loyal. Hmm? Uh oh. Everyone has appearances I could change. Let's bring him. Hang on. I'll keep this duo with me. Hmm. Shock Trooper. Oh yeah, that's what I. That's a, a choice I made to be a shock trooper. Like I think, in the first game, isn't it? I think. I think it was shock trooper. Oh no! Wait! Oh no! Uh, I have to choose one of these. Your killing intent is ever present. In here. Uh. Health. For, oh, jeez. Oh, weapon damage is fifteen percent. This is nine percent. Paragon to renegade. Yeah, I go with that. Just because. 
Uh, Paragon choices and I... Oh, wow. That's really high. Tali! Tali, 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 tali. Finn! Damn it. Nothing. Can't do anything. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I actually, oh, I have to do this in a certain amount. Oh, shit. Well, at least I, the time shouldn't continue if I'm reading stuff, right? Captain's log. Uh, yellow alert. Uh, da, 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 da. Geth are attacking. Ill-equipped. Signing off. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go. There we go. Did it. Get out of here, you bastards. Oh, you a hole. Uh, offline. Nice support status. Damage. Uh, okay. Engine room is sealed. Ah, shit. Well, what am I supposed... What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. Did it. Damn it! Okay. This ain't gonna work out. Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. I did it. So, uh, what this be do? I didn't pay attention to what it was. I was just trying to do everything quickly. We've done it. Okay. Okay, well, that, that worked out. <laughs> Remaining Geth have disengaged. The colony is safe, except everyone's dead on this ship. What the hell are you talking about? Take cover, avoid damage for a few moments. Allows your suit to regenerate your health and shields. Yeah, I, I'm aware. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yay, okay. To the Normandy Arthanks. From Raphael 
Cologne, <laughs> governor of Fargon Colony, Jonas. We've retrieved your identity from the docking dead abo aboard the uh, MSV Broken Arrow. We're led to believe that your crew is responsible for, sa for saving our colony from a, from a catastrophic event. Not only did you defeat the Geth and prevent the ship from crashing into the planet in a, in a trajectory that would have destroyed our colony, but you also saved nearly 100 munition crate, munitions crates that would have been lost in the ship's scuttling. Thanks to you, we are safe and can continue the Broken Arrow's work in arming the colonies on the fringe of Geth space. On behalf of the residents of Fargon Colony, you have our eternal gratitude. From Leslie. I am Leslie. I was on Elea. The food made me sick. The doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He said, he says he can tell you this. He could write this for me. But I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I'm getting better. I, I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He he can't make me not me anymore, because you and Jacob stopped him. Thank you, Leslie. Wait, is she that... Is she that one woman that I... That was like... Uh, I don't remember. Not the woman I saved at the beginning of that mission, but, like, there was another woman that I talked to who would talk to me. So, alright. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing, right? Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright. Actually, I'm gonna play a little bit longer because of like the friggin', because of all the the um, stuff I was doing the with with all the friggin' um, 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 um. damn it! What am I trying to say? Oh, with the the uh, damn it! Forget it. I can't freaking talk. Boop! Yay! Back to the Shitadel. Boop a doop. Okay, uh, oh, I can skip it, okay. Okay. Why the heartbeat? When, why is this necessary? What's that supposed to do for me? All right, let's get you and you. Alright, whatever. Let's go with that. Oh, right. Oh, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, shit. Damn it. Alright. I go back to my ship. I want to go back to my ship. All right. Now let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I forgot about like who else I need for the missions there. Hang on. 
I don't know if I missed a cutscene or anything, or if that was just how that was. Although, if if there if it was a cutscene like before, I would I don't think I'd be able to skip the whole thing. All right, uh, eye for an eye, Citadel. That's the Citadel mission two. Okay. Okay, apparently I just need, uh, uh, Thane and, um, uh, alright, blah, 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 blah. Thane. Okay, Garrus. That's what I was thinking of. And boop. There we go. I kept. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's upgrade you a little bit, buddy. All right. So let's go. I thought that. Uh, no, thank you. Next. I thought that's who we, uh, we were talking about. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. <sighs> okay, you know, screw you. Five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I know C sec too well to believe that's true. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. Huh. Eight, huh? Well, then, apparently, everyone's just getting lazy. Alright, uh. Who the hell am I supposed to talk to? Interrogation room. Oh, hey, buddy. Yes? Oh, this is the guy I was supposed to talk to. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Faye. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Faye's contacts <coughs> work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Hmm. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I do need yes. something else. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. This should be easy. We don't see many drill here. Hmm. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods. Selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, Garrus. Funny, yeah. though, it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. What was it you called, Mounts? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, 
broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. <laughs> I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd B.I. when you talk to him. <laughs> it sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. Hmm. You're trying to save yours. Okay. He faces a dark path. We better hurry. Well, that's cool. This guy's cool. So many, like, among the assholes. Plans to assassinate someone. Oh. He'd interfere. He doesn't need to know. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Well, it's possible that it might not happen, but it could happen. What are you doing? What are you reading there? Nothing. Psh, you suck. All right. All right, so I'm going to stop this video here. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.